Hello there and welcome to Daniel's Infinite Playlist and today we're going to review a really special album namely the album Proto by um, experimental electro electronic artist Holly Herndon and for those of you who don't know who Holly Herndon is well Holly Herndon is uh, an artist that's based in Berlin that's uh, made herself a name thanks to her very complex and very what do you say conceptual uh, albums her first album uh, was mainly about the human experience and how a uh, body how the body reacts and all of the sounds and the voice and breathing and then the second album uh, was about um, uh, governmental spying on uh, users and internet freedom and it was a very cathartic album but this album this third album is a very interesting album indeed but first how is it to listen to this album well it's a bit like this. Daniel, why do I exist? All right, I'm going to show you the CD unboxing now, and I really like the design on this one. There's the album cover where it says Proto, and then the behind, it's so cool. I just love it. And then all the track names over there. And then the inside over here, which is, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of info. Um, which is there you see like all of the credits and the names and the thanks and then you have the CD here and then uh, yeah another image it's a really cool uh, album and you know like the design I think it emul emulates exactly what this album is about and yeah I really dig it I, I've always been a fan of Holly Herndon because it's not only the music but it's also the aesthetic that's very very important so anyways, how is this album musically? Well, musically, this album just goes through so so many different layers of, uh, how do you say, genres. I mean, the whole umbrella of uh, this album is that it's electronic music, but, you know, it goes in between, you know, like a glitchy uh, techno and some very emotive folk music and also our harp singing. That's just really really amazing and you could say that it's a hopscotch of very avant-garde uh, sounds and very how do you say um technological um uh, sounding record it's just uh, so uh, intrinsically produced and there's like, just like so many details uh, on this album that it's just so crazy it's so difficult to just put her in a musical uh, genre but i'd say that it's um, electronic combined with all of these ancient how do you say um, elements and it's just that's what make it makes it so compelling also like the use of voice um, and choirs and how she chops up all of those vocals is just so amazing well how is this album lyrically well lyrically at first it's just very hard to hear what uh, Holly Herndon and her ensemble ensemble uh, sings because uh, it's all just very you know like um, as i said very chopped and garbled and sometimes it's just very you know like hard to hear so but i luckily there are like a lot of lyrics that you can find online and what i see is that um it's mostly love songs but love songs from which perspective and uh, that's what was also drives forth this album thematically is that it, it's about artificial intelligence and mainly like the missing link between human understanding and artificial intelligence and our very fragile way of, of understanding how uh, artificial intelligence sees uh, us it is a very how do you say unnerving record but at the same time you just feel like the human experience is just the same as the artificial experience and in some ways is um how do you say this album also decentralizes the human experience and puts it in the view of other how do you say beings that could uh, exactly come from us for example there's this song that's called uh, extreme love where it's basically just like a monologue uh, of you know like the next species basically coming from us and um, that we're not you know like the highest chain of evolution because we're not the alpha and omega so to speak 
And maybe artificial intelligence is something like that. And artificial intelligence is just, um, how do you say, like the politics of it is just, it's still too early. And it's still, you know, like a fragile relationship uh, between humans and artificial intelligence. And that's why uh, during this, the making of this album, um, Holly Herndon and her collaborator Matt Dryhurst, uh, they raised an artificial intelligence from a gaming computer that um, that learns through um, singing feedback. You can actually hear these sort of live trainings throughout the album. There's this really beautiful uh, part that's called Canaan. You can just feel how the machine or well, the artificial intelligence just listens and just takes in all of this. There's even a, a song that's called Godmother, that's basically this artificial intelligence that's called Spawn, who uh, listens to producer Jay Lynn's music and then interprets that music through Holly Herndon's uh, own uh, voice. And it's a very, well, it's, I think that's the album album's lowest point, but it's also like the most, uh, one of the most evocative points as well, because it, it it clearly is about, you know, like artificial intelligence and how it somehow uh, learns and imitates and sees what we are. But, you know, that doesn't need to be, need to mean that humans and artificial intelligence um, can't coexist. And this album is sort of like a testament to that, to the love that is between man and artificial intelligence. So please listen to this album because it's just, I mean, it's just very evocative. So what do I give this album? Well, I give it a 9 out of 10. It is a great album. It is an album that's both brave and also very examining of the human condition in overall. Like, what, what is our place in this earth? Like, uh, are we are we really the Alpha and Omega? And why do we misunderstand like the connection between artificial intelligence and humans when artificial intelligence just as much wants to learn from us as we want to learn from them so this is a an album about compassion and about staying together just as uh, emoted through uh, different ways of ancient singing for example like harp singing that's clearly emoted on the song frontier and it's one of the album's uh, more emotional high points. And as I said before, Holly Herndon uh, makes really great uh, musical album experiences that just reach way before, I mean, way uh, above, you know, like the normal uh, pop song uh, or electronic st structure. She actually stretches it and it feels like you're listening to a thesis. Now, this album is not for everyone, uh, but I still feel that if people actually just took their time, like if you're a pop fan or a rock fan or anything, and just listen to this album, you just feel like the same amount of love and compassion that's just went through this uh, amazing and um, great record. Plus, you can also read like the whole process behind recording this. Um, you can also read how they raised this artificial intelligence uh, to, um, how do you say, interpret music uh, through basic learning structures. So yeah, thank you so much for watching uh, this uh, video. Um, as always, I'm going to put the artist links down below. Holly Herndon is available everywhere. She's available in Spotify, iTunes, and then there are a lot of physical versions that you can buy, I think, through her website or for or through 4AD websites. Anyway, I'm still gonna put some links down below. And yeah, uh, if this is your first time watching this video, thank you so much. And please like and subscribe as I really appreciate it. Um, because I'm going to review new albums every Wednesday and classic albums every Saturday. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I I'd be really thankful if you'd still want to be along for the, for the ride. So yeah, that's it for me. Um, enjoy music, enjoy life, people. Hello.